If you want to know how I made this backpack charm out of recycled soft drink cans, please wait here because I'll show you how to make this so you can make also all of this if you want. <laughs> of different sizes and shapes and colorful cardstock paper. Empty soft drink cans, washed inside and outside. Glossy Accents is a kind of water-based resin. It is very well known in the world of scrapbooking and it gives you a very uh, hard surface with glossy finish. Scissors and a knife or a scalpel. Bubbly eyes, instant glue and a pair of pins, one of these ball tools or even a marble, about 3 mm wide hole punch, ball chains for keychains, black permanent marker, parchment or oven paper, hot pot or any other decoupage sealer. The first thing I'm going to make is I will cut the thing. I will just uh, put the, the blade inside the thing like this, not on the corner, slightly in the corner and will cut around the thing like this. And also in the other side. I could use scissors to cut this thing, but there is a problem with scissors is that you get all these edges which are like dangerous because they hurt a lot. I prefer to do it with a, with a, with this knife. But for finishing I will use the, the scissors anyway. And now we look for the, the the join point in the thing and we cut it with the scissors we open it up and then we have the whole thing open and now because I don't want all these pointing edges I will cut it with the with the knife I don't recommend this as a children safe uh, uh, craft because it, this is really hurts especially at the beginning you have to be really careful not to cut yourself and now I get my big hole punch, circle hole punch, I center the drawing I like and I cut it out. This one cuts really well. I have some other ones that don't cut so well the, the cans. You just have to try. For example this one doesn't cut at all, I couldn't get any, even though it looks it is from the same makers. This ball tool or even I could use this marble, I'm going to soften these edges that you see around because I want, it, I want the thing to be as flat as it can be. The marble is good enough but if you have a ball, a ball tool use the big ball to soften the edges. Now with your fingers try to flatten the shape, the rounder shape of the, of the piece of, of can and if you want to soften the edges on the other side as well uh, I recommend to put a paper to protect the printing on the thing. This is a very blunt edge I have here, I will sand it and now it's smooth to the touch. Now with a smaller circle punch I will cut two more circles and I don't care now what kind what part of the can I use because I will only use the silver side flatten the edges with the ball uh, tool and make them as flat as possible with your hands and now with the same punch uh, you use for cutting the can cut a piece of, of yellow uh, well in this case I will use yellow cardstock mm, <laughs> it, 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 it really gets stuck. <laughs> the way I will put all this together is like this. First I will put the yellow circle on top of the can circle, then the two small uh, silver circles as if they were the goggles, and then the eyes on top of them. 
Then I will use one um, lid like this. This is from a makeup I use and it's the size I need to trace with my permanent uh, black uh, pen. I will trace the, a little mouth uh, like this. Now I will make the mouth slightly broader on the center and thinner on the edges. And now with permanent uh, glue I will attach the googles and the eyes to the card. And I paint with permanent uh, with a permanent pen I will trace around to mark the the shape of the goggles and the shape of the eyes. And now I paint the, the size of the goggles, I don't know, the straps maybe in the goggles. And also a little bit of hair too. And with a scalpel I will scratch any excess of, of, of permanent mark. Now I will stick the face to the can. I have a look and see that the can is placed so the top is, uh, is at the top. And now I spread the instant glue right to the edge of the can. And I place the face carefully on top of the can, making the edges match. Now I want to make the 3 mm hole here, but it's not easy because the, the eyes don't let me put the, the punch in place, but finally I managed to make it and I punch it out. Now I get my parchment paper and I prepare it with a little bit of adhesive tape on top of a cardboard. It's not easy because the adhesive tape doesn't stick well to the parchment paper, but uh, well, it will stay in place for a while. I will use this as my working base. Now I get the glossy accents, but when I started doing this I forgot to tape what I was doing. I forgot to put the <laughs> switch the camera on, so what I was telling you is that I first take the first drops of the glossy accent in another place because they usually come with a bubble and then I spread it around where uh, the, the yellow cardboard is and try to spread it, uh, spread it around all the edges but don't overload it with uh, glossy accents. So now with this, the two pins I use one pin to hold the, the face in place and the other one I use it for uh, spreading the glossy accents around to the edge of the, of the charm. The thing is, you have to be quick because this uh, starts to starts to dry quite quickly. So if you're doing several of these at the same time, please do spread the glossy accents in each one before filling the next one with glossy accents. Because if if you don't do it this way, they will dry before you can spread them. Make sure you spread the glossy accents right to the edges of the circle. If you look sideways then you will see if it shines or not and then you know where you have to spread it. If you see a bubble try to, to, pop, uh, to pop it with the pin and if you can't do it you have to slide it towards the edge, slide it carefully and try to get it out of the way because now it doesn't show much, but when the glossy accents get dry, it will show a lot, believe me. Our funny friend is already shiny and dry, so now I turn it around and I will cover the back of the can. Because it's not level, I will use another eye and I will put it under it to make it a level surface so the glossy accent doesn't uh, fall over the edge. I will cover this side with the glossy effect but I could before I I did that I could do another face here or I even could write a name or cover it with another paper and and do a drawing on it or whatever. Now I like to show uh, the, the, the image of the can but if you don't want to you, you can do whatever you want in this side. So I will cover it again with glossy accents like I did before. And so now I will let it dry overnight and so see you tomorrow.
<laughs> look, it looks really nice. I really like the shine. <laughs> so now all we have left to do is put on the, the chain, close it, and there you have your, re your really funny uh, backpack charm. I really like it and the shine and it's also partly recycled so it's a good deal. And for our funny friend we have here his other cousin. <laughs> Look this one this one has only one eye. Notice that for this one I put another charm uh, I made with a cock style soft drink bot, uh, can and the other side is uh, a red card also covered with glossy. As you see this one was made with Fanta Lemon and here comes another cousin. This one looks like uh, Mike Wachowski but no blue eye I'm afraid. This was made with a Sprite kind of can and uh, as you see the, it was not completely level when I added the glossy accent. Now this part looks a bit uh, uh, thicker than the rest. So here we have another two and as you see they are exactly the same but with a difference in the color. And let me explain you why this happened. The same materials. The outside is made out of wrapping paper. The other layer is made with a flower hole punch with, uh, with uh, purple car stock. And the center was punched out of a can of uh, uh, Fanta Lemon or Lemon Fanta with a normal hole punch for paper. As you see this one turned out yellow because I didn't protect the papers with a layer of sealer. And the glossy accents happened to like mm, uh, react to the colors of the of the papers and change them. If I seal them with Mod Podge before applying the glossy accents, I will uh, is when I get a better result, and that's what I did with this one, which has Mod Podge before applying glossy accents. So that's why you get the the difference in color. I really like this one. As you see, I have another flower in this side. It was made with a cola drink and also the center is made out of uh, lemon Fanta as well. And uh, the leaf was made with a kind of a Sprite 7-Up uh, uh, can. And the, the, this part is made with a magazine photo of a field of grass. And as you see, you can use anything from magazine photos to anything you like. Have a look at this one. This one looks like blurred. You see the edge of the red goes into the, the white color of the logo and it doesn't look uh, defined. And that's because it happened the same as with the paper. The glossy accents uh, react with the paint on the can, the red paint, and it made it bleed to the white one. This other one was sealed with Mod Podge before adding the glossy accent and you can see the, the white and the red are more defined and less blurred. I used the back of these ones to write down the names in the backpacks, as you see. You may have realized by now that the amount of possibilities this technique uh, gives you is uh, it's awesome because you can uh, you can do many things with them. I can imagine, for example, using photos printed in the computer printed. They could be the photo of the owner of the backpack, for example, or a photo of their favorite character or anything. Um, you can do whatever you like, really. I may make another video telling you more ideas to make with this technique if I have the time to. And have a look at how they look hanging from the backpack. I think they look pretty nice and this one as well. So if you like this please do say like and also you can subscribe to my channel and to get more new manual ideas that I may be sharing with you very soon. So do you fancy these backpack charms? I hope you do!